humiliated. After Jens at Shoppers pledged to boycott the Duchess, Tiffany and company pulled Meghan's bracelets from their inventory. Meghan Markle seemed incredibly stylish. Yesterday, the Duchess of Sussex was spotted leaving Gracious Marjorie on Melrose Avenue, while out for lunch with friends in West Hollywood. She was wearing a chic all-black outfit. Meghan's attire for the event was a lesson in chic off-beauty clothing. It featured a light sweater, matching fitted slacks that were cut at the ankles, a long black Max Mara cashmere coat, and white pointed Valentino mules. Her sleek outfit was complemented by a black Valentino sunblast set, white stud earrings, and a black and white Chanel purse, with a silver chain strap. Layers of bracelets, including a gold Tiffany & Company bracelet and a beloved Cartier tank watch, were added by Meghan to complete the outfit. Los Angeles style casualness. She wore a basic black manicure, a loose bun on her hair, and natural-looking makeup. On camera, the Duchess was seen strolling across the city with two female employees. Nevertheless, it's unclear why Tiffany and company decided to take the bracelet Meghan was wearing at the time from the bronze website this morning. According to sources, Tiffany and company wants to avoid any problems from Meghan's side, and has demonstrated that all of the branded clothing worn by the Duchess has a disastrously cheap look, which has caused a significant decline in sales. Longtime clients also slammed Tiffany and company for letting Meghan wear its wares, at a period when the Duchess of Sussex was frequently in the news, wrecking havoc on the brand's email shop. The Cartier and Tiffany augmented reality commercials are the most recent in a line of brand collaborative initiatives, aimed at influencing Generation Z to spend in luxury goods through virtual environment experiences. The announcement that Buckingham Palace had finally updated its website coincided with Meghan's Wednesday visit, according to Bizarre.com. To recognize the royal titles that her two children, Archie and Lilibet, share with Prince Harry. On Thursday morning, the palace released the revision. Also, it marks Meghan's first public appearance, since it was bizarrely revealed that she and Harry christened their one-year-old daughter Lilibet Diana and Batten Windsor on June 4, 2021. Americans have been advised that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are despised because of their public disputes with the royal family. With the publication of the Duke of Cambridge's memoirs and the Netflix documentary, American talk show personality Meghan Kelly said that Harry and Meghan were in trouble domestically. Also, another participant on a program claimed that Americans were utterly tired of hearing about them. I believe interest in them is actually dwindling, the podcast host Emily Juninsky told Meghan Kelly. Therefore, those who are willing to criticize them are of great interest. They are truly like, what are you talking about, the commentator continued. In addition to disrespecting the nation and honorable people, you are also attempting to profit from the situation. Kelly then entered the discussion. She claimed they are now despised. They completely lost their support. In the spare book, they were above water before the Netflix special. And now both of them are submerged in water. The least favored royals are them. It took considerable work for them to surpass Prince Andrew as the least liked royal.